Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, as you already know, by the looking at the thumbnail, we are going to talk about skills required for an RPA developer. Before that, let's try to understand what is RPA for new viewers or someone who is watching this video for the very first time. Okay. So RPA is a software technology that makes it easy to build, deploy and manage software robots. So automation, like in RPA terms, robotic process automation is the use of software robots to automate repetitive tasks and streamline the business processes. So whatever human are mimicking, like uh, the bots are capable of mimicking human actions on a computer system and it, it automates the rule based tasks. So it's, it's a, it, at the end of the day, it's a software. It's not a, a physical robot who will be automating the process. If you want to know more details about what is RP? I have a dedicated video of about three minutes, so you can watch it with that. Let's move forward. So before talking to the skills needed of RPA developer, let's understand what is RPA developer in general programming terminologies, a developer is a person who develops a system, right? Similarly, RPA developer is a professional who designs, develops and test uh, these uh, software robots. They closely work with the stakeholders to identify the areas that are needed that where the automation is needed and then create a automation solution. So they are involved in the entire RPA life cycle from requirement gathering to deliverables. So with that, I have set up the ground. Basically, you know now what is RPA and what is a RPA developer. Now we can talk about the skills needed for RPA developer. Let's start with this. First is programming and DB skills. So as an RPA developer, you need a solid foundation in programming languages like Python, Java or C sharp. These are not limited. You have to get yourself skilled in JavaScript as well. So when I say solid foundation, basically you need a basic, uh, your basic concept should be clear on all these languages. As an RP developer, you don't need to be expert in all these languages, but you should be comfortable in knowing the basics, right? What is object oriented programming in Python? If you want to do certain things, how you can do that in C sharp or VB, right? These are the basic programming languages that are that will help you to interact with your uh, automation automated solutions, which you'll be creating. And then database skills is also needed. For example, you should know SQL Server or Oracle. Like you should be basically knowing the DB concepts, like what is the relational databases, uh, how how to uh, establish a relationship between DB uh, tables, right? One to one mapping, one to many mapping. So whenever you are designing your RPA solution, these things will be needed. So if you, if in your automation process, you have a requirement of creating a database tables. So then you have to know the entity relationship model, how you will be establishing the relation between one table and another table, how many tables you need to create. Like one is a master table, then transaction table. So, and how you establish a relationship, all these things you should know basic uh, concepts of a database, uh, asset properties, atomicity, data integrity, all these basic level things on and basic queries like uh, uh, select insert update code operations and then joins applying joins between tables you should be knowing all these things right let's move on next is process understanding you must have a very good understanding of the workflows and the process definitions what exactly the process that you are automating is actually doing the as is process is very much needed to be effective in automating business processes so this involves working closely with business analyst or whoever is uh, gathering the requirement for you in this process and SMEs, SME is subject matter expert to identify automation opportunities and then optimizing the processes. So process understanding you have to get. Yeah. Then, then comes the problem solving skill. So RPA developers encounter various challenges when, while automating the uh, processes, right? When, if the process is straightforward, uh, getting the data. Uh, fetching the data from the email and putting it some in some Excel file or putting it in some of the database or SAP systems, then it's fine. If it is linear and straightforward, then it's fine. But um, majority of the times, automation solutions are very complex. Like, there are complex processes as well. So strong problem solving skills are essential for identifying bottlenecks, debugging the issues, finding the solutions to ensure the automation is smooth. Right? For that, you need a problem solving mindset. So this skill is again very important the next is analytical thinking as an rpa developer you'll often need to analyze large data sets identify patterns and make data driven decisions to optimize your uh, automated uh, like optimize your process like automation workflows so therefore having strong analytical skills will be a great asset in this role so 
that's how the skills is also important after this collaboration as an rpa developer right you will be working in teams and collaborated and collaborate with various stakeholders including business analyst bas in your team project managers rpms and end users like your business uh, client or business users so effective communication and teamwork are crucial for understanding requirements designing solutions and ensuring the successful implementation of your process so collaboration is again effective skill which is needed the last one is continuous learning the field of rpa is constantly evolving with new tools technologies and best practices emerging regularly it is important to have a growth mindset and passion for learning and staying stay up to date with latest trends in the rpa industry so you might be aware right currently we are heading towards intelligent automation or hyper automation so the integration of ai ml along with rpa is what the next big thing is you can watch uh, my previous uh, video where i have covered ai ml career path or ai ml road map for an rpa developer so it is very important in any field not in not just in rpa the space at which the technology is evolving it's very important in every field that you stay up to date you keep on upskilling yourself this is a just a recap of what we discuss the, uh, in the skills needed for rpa developer programming db skills process understanding problem solving analytical thinking collaboration and continuous learning thanks for watching by acquiring programming skills process understanding all these skills which we have discussed right you'll be on your way to become a successful rpa developer if you found this video informative be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more such content and always feel free to leave any question or comments down below thanks for watching and we'll see you soon in the next video